What's up YouTube? It's your boy Hugo Strange here one more time. I just wanted to do a really quick book review of S. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I, I got this book not too long ago. Um, I saw the trailer for it a few months back. And uh, for those of you who, who don't know, this book was not written by J.J. Abrams. It wasn't. He um, more or less inspired the story. It was actually written by Doug Dorst. Um, whose work I'm not familiar with, um, more on that later. Um, so, yeah, I was really excited about this book because, um, for those of you who know anything about J.J. Abrams, he mostly deals in things of sci-fi, fantasy, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, I wasn't too familiar about Doug, too familiar with Doug Dorse, um, but I did, you know, look up some stuff on Wikipedia about him. And it looks like he, he's dabbled in some fantasy or, or you know, stuff here and there. So I thought this book was going to be more in the lines of something like that. And when I saw the trailer for it, um, the trailer that J.J. Abrams made for this, I was, I was more than a little interested. And I thought it was going to, again, go into that, that, that realm of fantasy. Um, the book itself... Um, is actually quite interesting. Um, the the make of the book, all that jazz. So the actual book is titled S. Um, this is the book written by Doug Dorse. Um, the actual book is titled S, but it's it's sort of metafictional in a sense where the the book S is actually about this book right here, um, the ship of Theseus. Um, written by V.M. Straka. V.M. Straka is a fictional character within the book of S. So the book S is about this book and about the two people reading the book. I consider this, all the stuff in the margins, to be the actual novel S and not the actual novel Ship of Theseus, if that makes any sense. It's sort of like watching a movie about a movie, if that, if that helps you. Um, so this is a book about a book, if that helps you. Um, if you're in my generation, you should understand the, the concept of metafictional fiction. Anyway, so... Uh, from the trailers, I thought I was going to get... Um, something fantastical, something in the realm of fantasy. That was not the case. Which is okay, if the book was interesting. And I'm quite loath to say that this was terrible. I hated this. I absolutely hated this. Reading this was an absolute chore. I, I, I hated this completely. Now, you might be asking, why? I will be more than happy to tell you. Well, for starters, let's talk about the, the novel itself, the, the Ship of Theseus. The Ship of Theseus was a bad novel. It was boring. I did not care about any of the characters. Um, a, every, a lot of things in this book was just completely circumstantial and just coincidental. Um, so the novel, uh, Ship of Theseus, is about this guy who has amnesia. Um, he gets shanghaied by a crew. He ends up on a boat. And all of the people on the boat, um, save for one person who the, the main character dubs Maelstrom, um, everybody on the boat have their lips sewn together. Um... So the main character, whose name is S, manages to escape because a, a, uh, um, a storm kicks up and the, um, the boat capsizes or whatever, and S is ejected from the boat and he manages to swim to a nearby um, area. In that nearby area, um, um, there's a protest going on against a guy named Vevoda. Vevoda has a factory. He's doing all kinds of weird things in his factory. No one quite knows what's going on there. They try to send spies in, spies in there, and the spies end up missing. Um, and there's a protest against this Vevoda guy. 
Um, and S links up with some of the protesters. Uh, Vevo does agents manage uh, manage to kill some of the protesters. Um, and Veveloda, not not Veveloda, but the, the people that S has become chummy with, they get blamed for it, they have to escape, and um, the majority of those people end up getting killed, and S manages to escape from Veveloda's agents, and he ends up back on the ship again. They, they find him somehow, and they, they put him back on the ship, and... and um, it turns out that S is an assassin of some of some of some sort. Um, yeah, uh, all of this sounds interesting, but it really isn't. And it turns out that this Veveda guy is the main villain of the novel, which again is completely circumstantial um, and coincidental. Uh, it just comes out of left field. All the characters in the novel are wooden and unpleasant. I really did not have any emotional investment in their story, their struggles. I did not care in the slightest. There was no interest in, in this for me whatsoever um, in the novel. Now, that was that could be fine. That was that would be fine if the actual novel S was interesting. The actual novel that I consider to be S is the novel that takes place again in the margins, the margins note. So this is, all of this is the novel S. This is the ship of Theseus, if you understand that. Um, the actual novel um, with the characters of Eric and Jen, the people who are reading this book and writing comments in the margins, um, the actual novel itself is about finding out the identity of V.M. Straka. The actual novel itself is about finding out the identity of V.M. Straka, and that's the majority of their conversation. Is, is it uh, V.M. Straka, was he this guy? Was he a group of people? Was he this person? He could have been this person, that person, you know this, that, and the other. And the thing with that is there just are no stakes for me to be invested in this mystery. For for there to be a solid mystery, at least for me, and I don't know about for the rest of you, but at least for me, there has to be something at stake. Meaning if this mystery is not solved, then X will happen. If this mystery is solved, then Y will happen. You see what I'm saying? Meaning it's a cause and effect. For this book, however, for them discovering the identity of V.M. Straka, there was no stake. There was nothing at stake for either of the characters, at least nothing that I could glean from. Um, nothing that was really, really uh, important for them that this must be done kind of thing. Um, and for a novel or for any kind of literature or medium, you, you sort of need that it must be done kind of thing or else kind of deal. And I just didn't get that from here. They made attempts to make it important to, um, for Eric to, uh, to, uh, get this, this, this research out before, um, his ex-professor does for whatever reason. It just didn't matter. Like, nothing in this book mattered to me. I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't see why the characters themselves cared other than they just did. It didn't feel like there was anything, there was, it, it felt like they were investing more than what they would have got out of that situation. Especially with the character of Jen, um, who was pretty much um, ignoring a majority of her college work in order to dedicate time to figuring this out. And again, I saw no no reason for it, as, a, as if, okay, so you guys figured out who VM Straka was. And, you know, that sort of thing. I was expecting this book to take a twist and turn, like maybe Ship of Theseus was actually
actually what happened to VM Straka. Um, but again, I was expecting something in, in terms of fantasy or sci-fi, things of that nature. Um, I wasn't expecting what I got, um, which was... I'm not quite sure. All I know is that I got a lot of something that I just did not care about in the slightest. Um, this was a good idea, but the execution was very poor. Both novels were, were just void of any kind of personality and feeling and gravitas and, patho and pathos to it. I, I did not... I did not care. I did not care. And that's that's the that's the worst thing that you could ever that can ever be said about any sort of medium. Um where I can't say that I hated this because this was stupid. I can't say that all I can say is that I just did not care. I did not care. I really walked away from this not giving a single crap. And yeah, it, it had no, no feeling, it, it gave me no emotional feeling other than frustration um, that nothing else was going on, that, that so much was going on that I did not care about, and I was more frustrated that I actually spent money on it, and that I've actually dedicated time to sitting down and reading it when I, when there was nothing there to have me invested in it emotionally or just in any kind of, of of passing or fleeting interest in it but if I if I went my entire life without without ever reading this novel nothing would happen I would not say that I reg I would not say that I that I that I regret not reading it because I feel like I haven't read it because I don't care um, so anyway, that was a quick book review. My camera's about to die. So I'll see you guys later. Deuces.